A extremely prevalent hormonal disease called PCOD, which affects about 10 million people worldwide. Although the precise etiology is unknown, many environmental and genetic factors are thought to be involved with this condition. PCOD has negative physical and emotional effects on its victims. In addition to hirsutism and mood disturbances, weight gain is one of God's many symptoms. In addition to harming the patient's sense of self-worth, PCOD-related weight gain increases her risk of developing conditions like diabetes, heart disease, sleep apnea, and even uterine cancer. The only option available for those with PCOD is to manage their symptoms because there is no known cure for the condition. While Sarah may have succeeded in accomplishing this accomplishment by reducing a significant amount of weight, many of us are still having difficulty doing so. We have put together a list of a few useful recommendations that can aid you in your weight loss journey and help you better manage this disease if you are one of those who feels demotivated or defeated while battling it. Manage your stress. Weight gain and persistent stress are two sides of the same coin. Long-term stress alters your body's hormonal equilibrium. Also, it is deceived into believing that you aren't getting enough calories. You thus consume significantly more than what your body can truly digest. We are aware that you cannot escape the stress that comes with daily life, such as the need to fulfill deadlines. Yet, you can control it by partaking in relaxing activities like yoga, meditation, and anything else. Get adequate sleep. Absolutely, the amount of time you spend sleeping is directly related to your weight growth. Even though you might just need 4 hours of sleep each night to function, it contributes to your disproportionate weight gain. Those who only get approximately 4 hours of sleep each night, as opposed to the recommended 8, report feeling hungry more frequently. Make workout a part of your morning routine. Many of us choose to exercise in the evening following our workday at the office so that we may do it in quiet. But, your body is already exhausted because you have been awake for a while so you are more likely to forego the workout in favor of relaxing in bed. Instead, include exercising in your morning routine when you are at your most energetic. You'll be able to start your day off on the right foot and be less likely to skip the gym. Be consistent with the workout. Consistency is the key to getting strong outcomes from a training. First of all, understand that you won't get the desired outcomes right away. For any observable changes, you must adhere to them consistently over a predetermined period of time. As a result, avoid taking extended pauses from working out. Take a day off if you intend to exercise six days per week so that your body can recover. Moreover, if you are away or traveling, make an effort to fit in workouts you can perform anywhere, like running or jogging, into your plan. Avoid eating out. Eating well is essential because altering one's lifestyle is the only way to manage weight while dealing with PCOD. Make an effort to prepare your meals at home rather than getting takeout. You will not only be aware of the components in your food, but it will also motivate you to eat healthily because you will have control over things like portion sizes and cooking oils. Even low-fat versions of items high in calories can be used instead. Also, since processed food contains a lot of sugar and fat, it contributes greatly to weight gain. Include a lot of veggies in your diet. You will inevitably manage your weight in a healthier manner than when you are crash dieting if you eat a lot of veggies, fruits, and nuts. You might ensure that you obtain all the nutrients needed for your body to function properly by eating a diet high in fruits and vegetables. You can lower your chance of developing heart disease by following this diet. Count your calories. The fundamental principle of weight reduction in any situation is that there must be a calorie deficit for weight loss to occur. That is, the number of calories you burn off should exceed the number you take in. Pay close attention to what you consume to make sure this occurs. Choose items that have less calories but yet make you feel full rather than missing meals. Also, you can keep track of your calories by registering them in a variety of smartphone apps. This will aid in keeping you on course. If you have PCOD, a little bit of effort and commitment will go a long way towards helping you lose weight. If you don't notice results right away, 
don't get discouraged. Just keep plugging along. If you keep making progress towards it, it will happen. Thank you so much.